to Quick Tip Tuesday, and today we're gonna talk about adjustment layers. Had a lot of people asking me about them, and today we're gonna kinda go over the what, the why, and the how. I use them in every single video project, including this one, and I'm gonna show you what I do. Real quick though, a huge thank you to a massive supporter of this channel, Epidemic Sound. They are the leader in YouTube music licensing, the soundtrack of this channel, and, and they're just the best. If you're looking for music for your YouTube channel, they're, they're the ones to go with. Thousands of tracks in there for you guys to pick from, and there's a free link in the description. Click the first link in the description, go over there to Epidemic Sound, and download music for free. Again, I don't I don't know why you wouldn't. All right, on to today's quick tip, and, and what is an adjustment layer, and why would you use it in Premiere Pro? Let's hop into Premiere Pro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you exactly how I use them. Okay, here we are in Premiere Pro, and, and this is last week's video about the new grip floating handle tripod thingamajig, and you're gonna see this right here, my, my adjustment layer, and if I zoom all the way out, you'll see this spans the entire project. I have one adjustment layer that goes over the entire project, and that's because in this setup where I have this camera and I have my second angle camera, they're both exposed the exact same, the white balance is the same, everything is controlled in this environment. So because of that, I can make adjustments to every single clip in there and, and it works. But let's talk a little bit about the adjustment layer. So if we turn this adjustment layer off, you'll see that is exactly what's coming out of my camera. This, this shot right here without the adjustment layer looks like this. And then when I add the adjustment layer, it looks like this. And all that is, is a Lumetri color grade. So I'm just applying a color grade, but instead of applying it to the actual clips, I apply it to the adjustment layer. So we'll go ahead here and we'll take that off. And again, if I, if I kind of look around my project here, I've got a ton of clips in here. There is, there's hundreds, because I've taken a few clips and I've diced them up into pieces to make my initial edit. Now when I went in there to edit this, I could go in here to one of them. I could click on the clip. I could say color, go to my Lumetri panel. I could start making adjustments like in here and do things, but then once I had those adjustments done, I would have to copy and paste that across all of those clips. And then later, if I was like, oh, I actually want it like a little brighter or I want it like a little darker, I would then have to delete that from every single clip, redo it on one clip, and then copy paste it again to all those clips. So that's where adjustment layers come in. I can add one layer, put it over all those clips and every clip that is underneath an adjustment layer will receive the color grade or the effect that I put on that adjustment layer. So that's what an adjustment layer is. How do we how do we do it? Where do I find it in here? Let's go ahead and delete this adjustment layer and I'm going to go up to my project panel and it's important that you use your project panel to do this because like if I'm selected on my program panel here and I say file new, you you can't even do adjustment layer. But if you're selected on your project panel over here, the blue outline right there, right here is new item. And if I click new item, I've got a bunch of options here and adjustment layer is one of them. By default, it's gonna pop up to the settings that your timeline is. So if, you're, if your sequence down here, mine is 1920 by 1080. So by default, that pops up. And then once I do that in my project panel here, I have an adjustment layer. I bring it onto the timeline, again, above the clips that I want it to affect, and then I can just drag this out over all of the clips that I want it to affect. In this case, I want it to affect all of these clips below it. You'll notice something funny now, because right now, the adjustment layer is in place, but nothing's happened. And it's because when you first put an adjustment layer, it's just blank. It's a transparent layer, because I haven't added any color grade or effects to it yet. So let's go in here and find a good frame of my face so I can get a decent color grade. Boom, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And I have some presets that I use, so I'm gonna use a preset. And right here is my studio preset. It's set up for this studio, and it's almost ready to go. So I go in here, I'm gonna make a couple little tweaks. I'm gonna bring those blacks back a little bit, bring the saturation back down a touch. And that's, that's about done right there. Super, super simple if you have presets set up. If you don't have presets set up, we'll go back over here, we'll get rid of that adjustment layer. I'm gonna drag it again. So now it's blank again. So if you don't have presets set up, it's really easy. If you wanna add a color grade to this, we're just gonna go ahead and click on the adjustment layer, switch over to our color panel, and in the Illumetri color panel here, as soon as I start doing any sort of color grading with the Illumetri colors here, 
it actually adds a Lumetri effect to that adjustment layer. So now any adjustments that I do right now is gonna to apply to every clip that's below that adjustment layer. So if I drag it out over my entire project, every clip in my project is receiving the edits that I do right now. And then again, if I go back to my timeline here, I can jump around anywhere and I can see that same edit has taken place for every other clip because again, it's under that adjustment layer. Okay, so so far we have an adjustment layer is a transparent layer that you put in there. Everything below it is gonna receive whatever is on that transparent layer. So if I add a color grade or an effect to the adjustment layer, any video clip that's below it will receive that effect. It's a great way to apply one effect to multiple clips without having to copy paste. And then later, if you wanna change that effect, you have to go into every single clip and make the changes. You just change the adjustment layer and every clip below it also changes. Now, the last thing to note about adjustment layers though, is that the adjustment layer on your sequence that has an effect on it does not correlate with the adjustment layer that's still in your project panel. So for instance, let's, let's bring this back so it only affects some of these clips. It only affects the first half and now the second half doesn't have it on it. If I go back up here to my project panel, I grab the adjustment layer, I pull it down here, it, it doesn't have anything on it, it's, it's transparent again. So the effects that you put on the adjustment layer in the sequence do not stick to the project file. That asset in your project panel is just a blank adjustment layer. So you can pull that down 10 different times on top of 10 different clips if you wanted to, put a different effect on all of them and they would all be different. So if you wanna stack adjustment layers, maybe one adjustment layer has the color grade, maybe another adjustment layer has a grain effect or something like that, you want those separate, you don't have to have two adjustment layers in your project panel. It's just one adjustment layer, pull it down, stretch it out, take it again, pull it down, stretch it out, put different effects on each of them and they will have different results. Does that make sense? I hope that's clear. And again, the main benefit here is that we're just applying one color grade to one adjustment layer and pulling it over all the clips that are the same exposure, same lighting scenario. If I have another set of images that maybe now I'm outside and it's a totally different thing, I'll put a different adjustment layer over those 10 or 15 clips, change the color grade on that one. And then again, if it's a different lighting scenario, another adjustment layer, you get the idea. A super quick and fast way to adjust multiple clips at once using adjustment layers. And again, adjustment layer is just a tool within Premiere Pro. So there's multiple ways to use this tool. You just have to kind of work with it a little bit, play with it, see the options that you can do with it. One thing that you can do is you can actually change the opacity of an effect. So if I put an effect on an adjustment layer, I can actually go in here and I can drag down the opacity of that effect and now it's, it's actually changed in there. Or maybe I want an effect to be at 100% and then I want to add to handles and change the opacity now as I hit play. Now it's extended. <laughs> that is a way better way. The effect actually kind of ramps off. Again, a million different ways to use adjustment layers. Start playing with them, start using them at first to color grade, to lay effects on there, and then find out 30 different ways that you can use an adjustment layer. But this is just an intro to adjustment layers, so start playing around, have fun with adjustment layers. Quick Tip Tuesday. I'll see you guys tomorrow? Maybe tomorrow. Premiere, there's a million things in Premiere to learn and, and realize and find out about it. I need to do a beginner's Premiere, like a crash course to show that there really is a simple way to edit within Premiere. And then there's a million things that you can do. I think people get intimidated by Premiere because they open it up, they see the million things and they go, oh, I don't understand any of that. When in reality, you could just make a very simple video in Premiere Pro. I'll make that video soon. That video coming soon, intro to Premiere Pro, the basics.